I don't believe in depression. Don't message me about depression because I don't believe in it. If you're asleep in your bed in the middle of the night and you hear a noise and you believe in ghosts, now you're afraid. But if you don't believe in ghosts, ah, it's the wind and you go back to sleep. You give the ghosts power by believing in them. Your house is only haunted if you believe in ghosts. Belief is a powerful thing. If I were to stand in front of you and I were to tell you that I could punch you as hard as I can in your sternum and I could fracture it and send a splinter into your heart, would you allow me to try? You wouldn't because you know I believe I can. I believe I can hurt any man on the planet and that's why people are afraid of me. And you believe depression is a crippling disease and that's why you're afraid of it. Breathe air. You don't need a vape. Have you ever seen anyone with a vape? Have you ever, have you ever sat in a room? So we go, wait, oh, let me just go. Oh, my vape's done charging. Load it up. And then some motherfucker's like, oh, oh, it's bad for me. Duh. The fuck? Are, how are people surprised by this shit? And now they're all over Twitter and on the news. Maybe we should do something about it. No, don't do anything. If you're so fucking stupid, it didn't cross your mind at some point that permanently sucking on this vape was going to damage you in some way. You deserve what happens to your dumb ass. And what kind of parent lets their 16-year-old vape anyway? If I had a 16-year-old son, he's like, I'll go to vape. Get the fuck out of here, vape. Do some push-ups. You ain't got time to vape. You gotta do push-ups. I decided... I didn't even decide, I realized yesterday that I can actually, genuinely, right now, nothing is stopping me from becoming Batman. Nothing. I have a Batcave. Okay, yep. I have an Alfred. Okay. I have a Batmobile, a Bugatti. Yep. I can fight. Yep. Rich as fuck. You can afford body armor and all the crap that all Batman needs. All the crap, needs, can yep. buy it all. I'm charismatic. There is nothing stopping me putting on a suit and being Batman. Batman. I don't think most women can actually genuinely understand how lonely the majority of men are. Yeah. And you need, you need to truly understand if you're <laughs> Joe Schmo, average in nearly every way, in Starbucks working, you ain't getting a DM ever. But you girls, you girls, you girls will never be lonely. As much as you might be unhappy with the possible suitors, you can at least fuck about and flirt if you feel sad. There are men out here in the world who have genuine loneliness. And, and, and I can prove this statistically. Why do you think it's all the men killing themselves compared to the women? Look. Some child is outside enjoying their life, playing with toys and smiling in the sunshine and having fun. I hate happiness. I hate happy children. Anyway, you're all losers. We've, we've discussed this before. I'm the king of the world. I got straps in my wardrobe. Look in the wardrobe. Show the wardrobe. What suit am I gonna wear? What fucking god? What on the team like that? I'm gonna say it right here in case the police roll up. You're not allowed guns in the range. But you are allowed guns in your shooting range. Why do you get my house registered as a shooting range? Bro, you don't know me. You don't know. You don't know guns. There's a shooting range over there. Well, there's a shooting range. I'm a shooting range. Hold on, though. Have you had a serious relationship? Well, I, I, I have many concurrent serious relationships oh, wow. as we speak. Are you Polly? No, because that means they can talk to other dudes. That's fucking haram. <laughs> That's atrocious. That's disgusting. Yeah. You're not going to be calling me a pussy when I fucking roundhouse kick you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just so you guys know, if I, if I had to choose, if I, sorry, if I had to choose between a roundhouse kick in the head from you, or a blowjob knowing your history, I'd probably choose the roundhouse kick in the head. <laughs> I think they like me. Yup, in my white tee. Yup, in my white tee. Yeah. Yeah. Call the white Williams for the hype, please. It's me. They don't like you. 
If you are a parent and you have a young son, or if you're a young guy, what you need to do is ban Hollywood. Do not allow yourself to watch a movie or a video ever again where a woman beats up a man because it's not realistic and it's not true. I'm tired of seeing chicks beat up men. I'm tired of seeing it. Oh yeah, you wanna mess with me? You think I'm a girl and you mess with me, you're gonna learn something. Hey, yeah. Fuck you, ho. You ain't gonna do shit. Suck dick and cook. Do I have kids? If I had kids, I wouldn't say on the podcast. But if you had a daughter, say, yep. how would you feel if she came in with a man like you? Be well, honest. Okay, and this is the thing, and I'm going to actually be completely honest here. I really try and base my worldviews on brutal realism. I try and be a realist, even if it's hard to be a realist. If that man made her happy, good. See, I would cut his fucking deck off. Well, this is, this is, and I know, and I understand that. But if, if she were to say, look, he does what he does, but I really love him. And, he, and I was like, does he hurt you? No, he doesn't hurt me. And I'm happy with him. Then I'd be like, as long as you're happy. Water I drink is sparkling water because sparkling water is for rich people. And I'll tell you why. You can get non-carbonated water, still water, from the fucking tap. The government gives you that shit effectively for free. Sparkling water you have to buy. So if you only drink sparkling water, you only drink rich man's water. I explained this to someone, some bumba club, and of course he replied with the typical, but, but I don't like sparkling. You don't like sparkling water? You don't like water? Yeah, but the bubbles. The bubbles? You scared of bubbles, you little bitch? It doesn't taste of anything. It has bubbles in it. Oh, you're afraid of bubbles? The fuck is wrong with you? This All I did was pay women. Woman worked for me, made $100,000 in a month. I gave her about 25% of that money. She got 25 grand, I got 75 grand. You're sitting there going, that's exploitative. Why'd you give her so little? So little. I'm the genius behind it. I'm the tech, I'm the emotional support. I'm the one who told her what to say and what to do. She's just the face of it all. 25% is a huge margin. When you work at McDonald's, do you get 25% of what you ring up on the till? You get less than 1%. I overpaid them all. I made women millionaires. I'm a feminist and a good man. I don't take advantage of women.